Tara, welcome to Thursday Thoughts. This week, we're on the side of the road. It's a little bit noisy. But we're discussing traveling with oversized boards. Um, downwind boards are getting longer and longer. Traveling to races is not as easy as it once was. Um, you know, seven foot is kind of still fine. Eight foot is not so good for some airlines. And nine foot is not possible with some airlines, definitely. So while foiling is a lot easier than, you know, sup races, um, people having trouble with that. Then also how to pack boards. What's the best way to pack your boards? You can also make cardboard, pull noodles on the rails, um, you know, wetsuits, okay. and on top of all this, like with a board bag, um, but then also advice to keep your board bag light. Personally, I've had a pretty good run. Kept my boards and foils in one bag. Not have any damage just yet. Currently touching wood. And um, yeah, what's everyone's advice on it? Uh, what board bags, what padding, what packaging, all of that. So they're the two things for this week. Are the longer boards making it less accessible for travel? Or are you still going to use your shorter board when you travel to races, long board when you're at home? Um, or are we going to have to start shipping boards? Bit of a nightmare. But worth it for some races for sure. Um, also had a few people sign up for sort of training from Molokai to Oahu to get a few more spaces. Um, just sort of online, sort of coaching and setting a bit of a program. And um, But yeah, that's that's my... That's my thoughts for this week and speak to you next week.